All right, my friends, welcome to another fantastic Reddit tip. <laughs> you only hope it's fantastic and it's worth your time. Sorry if you already know this stuff and it totally wastes your time. But hopefully somebody goes, what? what? Boom, I'm going to use this. And so here we go. Today's Reddit tip, we're going to talk about flip arrows and flip arrows and how they differ from using the space bar. And you're like, well, that seems pretty obvious. A flip bar is not a space bar. I mean, a flip arrow is not a space bar. Well, I'm like, okay, but they actually talk to each other and they work together. And so I'm going to show you the difference right now in this Revit tip so you'll know which one to use at which time in your families. Okay, here we go. I'm going to share my screen with my friends all right <clears throat> so here we are in reddit all right let's go to the floor plan of our cutest little building in the whole wide world i've actually considered modifying this building and you know making it a little bit different because it's kind of i just use this thing for talking to you guys and maybe i need to make an addition to it or build it a little bit bigger it's kind of small if you guys have any good ideas of what I could do to this, put them in the comments below and maybe I'll include that in the next file or in the next Revit tip. But today we're talking about flip arrows, okay? So let's just talk. You have seen them and you may use them, you may not, but I'm going to show you what they are right now. Almost every single object has a flip arrow, almost, except for generic objects and sometimes um, specialty equipment, that kind of stuff is not going to have flip arrows. Maybe lighting fixtures might not have them either, and plumbing fixtures and stairs. But wait! No, I'm just kidding. Stairs do have them. Um, I'm joking. Flip arrows are to be used when you need them. Don't just randomly put them in every single family. That's why some families have them and some don't. Let's just take a look at some of the families that do have them out of the box, out of the box with Revit, okay? Windows. <clears throat> if you have a window out of the box, windows have this flip arrow. You see that? This flip arrow on a window is outside the building. If you click on that flip arrow, it will flip this so that the exterior cell is going on the inside of the building and the interior sill is gonna go outside. So watch, I'm gonna hit flip. Bink, it flipped it. It puts the air, the flip arrow inside the building and that's wrong. So if you're sitting here looking at your building and you're just kind of clicking on your windows, you can observe the flip arrow is outside. And if you n click on one and the flip arrow is inside, boom, you know that your window's in backwards, okay? And you just hit the flip arrow to throw it outside. Now, let's talk momentarily about the space bar. If a family has a flip arrow built into it, like you see on this window right here, if a family has a flip arrow, the space bar activates it. So you don't have to reach up here and click on that up down arrow that up down arrow actually is a vertical flip on this window it flips it vertically only it doesn't flip it left to right like if you've got a, a latch handle on a casement window and it's on the right this is only going to throw it outside the building or inside the building you can't switch it to the left or the right i'm just saying you'll need another flip handle going the other direction to flip your casement windows from left to right. We'll get there, wait for it. But what I was getting at is if you hit this, it activates the flip arrow. But if a family has a flip arrow, you can use a space bar. Look at that. Space bar will flip this family, whichever, um, between the two, the arrow options, okay? Like this, on this case, up and down. <clears throat> so let's look at a door. See this door? It has two flip arrows. They might be kind of hard to see. One is left, right, and one is up, down. So you're like, what are you talking about, Mike? Well, the one that's here, it 
One of them flips the jam side. Let me just click on it. Okay. It flips which side is the jam of the window. Can you see that? And the other flip arrow puts the swing to the other side of the wall. Okay. This has sound effects. And you get to see that. That's really cool. Okay. This has left, right, up, down flip arrows. So your space bar could be used instead. You don't have to click on those. I can hit my space bar. And what it does is it cycles counterclockwise through all the options. So let me just go. Boom, 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 boom. And if you're in a hurry, you can cycle right past what you want. You're like, okay, I want it right there. Oh, you went too far. Just go click a few more times and it'll come back to where you want it. Okay. <clears throat> so that is how you use the flip arrows on a door. But you probably noticed the flip arrows are on a wall also. When you highlight a wall, again, just like a window, the flip arrow is outside the building. Okay. So let's just suppose there's a generic wall over here. What? Generic wall? I'm going to type WA on the keyboard and I'm going to go down on my preloaded list of ge generic wall. I mean walls. I'm going to click on a 12 inch wall and I'm just going to put a wall right there. Bam. That my friends is a, just a generic wall. You can't, there's no brick on it and studs. There's no nothing. It's a generic wall. You can't tell which size the inside or the outside until you highlight it. Bam. Look at that. That's the outside. That flip arrow is on the outside of the building. So I'm going to hit the space bar to get it to go to the other side. Or I could hit the flip arrow. Okay. Now on walls, what happens? It flips based on where the locator line is. I'm just saying. So let me move my face and, and show you. The locator line on a wall is right here at the top. Location line. Not locator, it's called the location line. And it is set on wall center. So when I hit the space bar or this flip arrow, it's going to flip based on the center of the wall. But watch this. If I change the wall location line to the exterior face, I'm going to change it to finish face exterior. Take a look. See that dot and that dot? They moved to the exterior face of the wall. Now, when I use my flip arrow, it's going to hold that face and it's going to flip to the other side of that face. So watch, I'm going to hit my space bar now. So watch it closely right here. See that? And this center doesn't move because that's where the locator line is. So just a heads up, if you are ever working in your project and you click on a wall and it's backwards for some reason, you're like, oh no, what do I do? Make sure your locator line is on wall center. If you have it on any of the other settings like core center or exterior face, interior face, look, it's on the interior face now. When I hit the space bar, it's going to back, move my wall, break my floor, lots of other fun things. So I'm going to hit cancel. But if I click on a wall and if I notice that it's backwards and I need that flip arrow on the outside of the building, I can highlight my wall, quickly go to location line and put it on wall center line. And then it's going to flip perfectly. I can hit the space bar and the wall won't move in its location. Its orientation changes, but not its location. Okay enough wasting your time with that okay let's talk about other stuff <clears throat> when i go to click on a chair there's no flip arrow it's like why not because so the person that made it didn't put a flip arrow in it i can click on this table what no flip arrow now when a family does not have a flip arrow then I'm going to pull it out here so you can see it. See that chair? When a family does not have a flip arrow, it rotates 
when you hit the space bar. So I'm going to highlight this chair and it's going to rotate counterclockwise. Look, one, boom, boom, boom. I can rotate objects that don't have flip arrows, but if I, it did have a flip arrow, it would, and the, the space bar initiates the flip arrow, not rotate. You can't rotate it. You guys with me? All right. You'll have to use the rotate tool to rotate. So I'm just going to put this chair back over where it was, and I'm going to go build an object and show you how to put flip arrows in it and how they really work. Okay? So let's do that right now. File, new family, new family. Okay? And I was thinking about using Korean, but then this happened. I'm like, you know what? I don't know Korean well enough to know. Oh, wait, generic model. Yeah, but we're not going to go with that. So I'm going to go up here. We're going to go back to, I, I actually thought about using the Japanese also, and no, it didn't help. But look at that. I could go with that, but no. We're going English today. Just today. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to go to generic model and say open. Okay, here we go. In, I'm going to make a quick generic model family. Now look, when you hit the flip arrow left, right, it flips based on this location. This, this right here is a center left and right reference plane. And this one is the front to back reference plane. So I'm just saying it uses that intersection where these two lines cross as its rotation point, if you don't have a flip arrow and you just hit the space bar, that's where it's going to rotate around. But if you have a flip arrow, it's going to flip based on those lines. So it kind of matters where you put your object if you build something. So I'm going to say extrusion just for fun. I'm going to make a little square. I'm going to put it right over. Mm, no, I'm not going to put it over there. I am going to put it on this top left corner. Look at that. I'm going to put it over there. Just going to show you how this works. But to prove that it's actually rotating, I'm going to put a circle on it and maybe a little bit of a square on it. Okay, there. Those are odd. So I just put some shapes on it. Those are going to be holes through it. And technically, I probably only want it to be like two inches thick. That's good enough. Okay, so finished object. Bam. So what we've got here, I'm going to show you in 3D what it looks like. There it is, okay? Beautiful little shape. This is an example shape. I'm talking, to, if you build a chair or a couch or a furniture or a light fixture or a, oh, anything that you build that you need, like a, a reception desk, whatever, a cabinet, there's a zillion things you can make. They don't typically have flip arrows in them. So watch what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this thing and call it I'm going to call it uh, Flippin' Family. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Flippin' Family. I just saw that just now. Okay, I'm going to hit save. Okay? This is my Flippin' Family. Okay, I'm going to load it into my project and close it. And when it pops in, it can't just stay on the view that I was on. It always has to jerk somewhere else. But say we go. I'm going to lay it on the floor right here in the conference room. Take a look. When you go to architecture, you can hit component and it will place the last family that you just made. Now observe, as I'm bringing it in, it's carrying it off here where the intersection of those two reference planes were, because that matters to this family. Do you see where it's, I'm carrying it by that ref, that center. I guess I should put it in my lobby because I got more room over here to work. Okay, if I set this down, click. Okay, now there it is right there, sitting in my lobby. If I highlight it, you'll notice I don't have any flip arrows, okay? There's no flip arrows on this thing at all. So if I hit my space bar, it's going to rotate counterclockwise around that invisible center point, which is right about where my cursor is right here. So watch this thing. When I hit the space bar, you guys see that? It's rotating around. And so it would be in your best interest to put your object on the intersection so it can rotate and not just fly all over the place. You've seen families that do that. 
So look at this. I'm going to hit Edit Family or pick Edit Family. And then I'm going to go to my top down view. I'm going to put my object. Look, I'm just going to drag it over here so it's way. I could put it exactly center if it mattered, but it doesn't for this example. I'm just going to put it near the center. I'm going to load in the project. Do I want to save it? Yeah. Do I want to overwrite it? Yeah. Come on. What are you doing? Okay. And now I'm going to overwrite the existing one. Bam. Now my object, it when I hit the space bar, it's going to stay closer to itself. Or Does that make sense? Okay, watch. Space bar, it's going to rotate counterclockwise. You guys with me? See how that did it? Done. That's what happens if it has no flip arrows. But I'm going to put a flip arrow in it now and show you how it works. Okay, edit family. When you're in your family, just go to the top down view. Okay, this is your flip arrow view. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the top down view. And if you look right here in the middle of your screen at the at the at all the icons at the top, control. So when I click control, it gives me four options. Let me move my face. There's four options. Okay. There's a single vertical flip and a single horizontal flip. And I've used those before, but they're completely bogus. So I advise you don't waste your time. What those do is it basically rotates your family 180 degrees. So if that's what you want to do, if you want to give the ability, a single vertical and a single horizontal result in the same thing. They just rotate 180, which is weird. So we're going to skip that for now. You guys can put them in if you want. But let me just show you how a double vertical and a double horizontal work because these are the most important ones. So I'm going to click on, well, a double horizontal happens to be pre-highlighted, so I'm going to use it. When it's highlighted, you can just click somewhere in your family and there it is, okay? And I don't think you should click all over and place a whole bunch because you only need one. So I'm going to get rid of all these except one of them. Whoops, I deleted it. Create, control, double horizontal, flip. Okay. You only need one, so just place one. This is going to give the ability for this family to flip horizontally. The reason you would want to do that, let's just say you have a hopper window, or not, not a hopper, maybe a, a casement window that has a handle on one side, or a refrigerator that has a handle, and you say, oh, this is supposed to be a left-handed fridge, not a right-handed fridge. This is the best, the perfect example for a flip arrow. So I'm going to hit load into project, save yes, overwrite yes, and now, I have a, overwrite the existing, yes. I have a flip it. No, I'm, it wants me to save the project. I'm like busy. Okay. When I highlight the family, you will, you can see the flip arrow, right? Wherever I placed it. Okay. And so I am going to hit the space bar and it will initiate the flip. Watch. It's not rotating it any longer. Ro the only way for me to rotate this now is use the rotate command, the rotate tool at the top up here. Because now spacebar takes on what, it, whenever there's a flip arrow in there, it uses it. So I'm gonna, I can flip this thing left, right, left, right, left, right all day, okay? Because there is a left, right flip arrow in it, okay? Just showing you how that works. I can also click the flip arrow. Click it, click it, click it, bam. Okay, it works. We can see it works. I'm going to go edit family. I'm not going to waste your time and just put a, you know, the um, double vertical in there only because it's like, duh. Okay. But if they're both in there, watch what happens. I'm going to hit double vertical. I'm going to highlight it and then click on my family. Take a look. You can put these flip arrows off to the side of your family or on top of it. It doesn't matter where the flip arrow is. It'll still work. So now I've got a flip arrow, horizontal flipping and vertical flipping in this family. Okay. And I'm going to load into the project. Yes to save. Yes to overwrite. Yes to overwrite the one in my project. Okay. Now when I highlight this thing, take a look. Both Horizontal and vertical flipping are options. So if I clicked on these, it's going to flip. Look at this. Left, right. But I can also flip it vertically. Okay. You just got to click the right button. <laughs> I 
All right. Or use your space bar. And because the, the um, flip arrows are in there, if I hit the space bar, it's going to cycle through them clockwise, which is kind of weird. I wish that it would use it would go counterclockwise like everything else, but it's going clockwise this time. So it cycles through the flipping clockwise. It uses the options. Okay. So that, my friends, is how you put flip arrows into a family and use them. But I wouldn't put a vertical flip um, into like a stove because the, you got the controls in the front and I can understand flipping it left to right or right to left may, but there's no reason for me to flip it so that the, the door is against the wall. You know, you, you guys got you know, the, the controls at the front of a stove are against the wall. So be wise when you're using these flip arrows and don't put the option to turn a cabinet against a wall when that's obviously not something you would do. But yes, if you've got a wall cabinet that has a handle on it that opens from right to left, then you should put a flip arrow in it to give it the option to flip it so that it can open left to right. Just saying. But there's no reason to flip it so that the handle goes into the wall. <laughs> okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, that's about enough with flip arrows and space bars and how they work together. All right, you guys start putting some flip arrows in your family. I hope this um, Revit tip was valuable to someone and um, I hope you enjoyed it. So have if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below and we'll go from there. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. All right, you guys have a fantastic day. Until we meet again, happy Reviting. All right, bye-bye.